So we're just finishing up the snow field. We got three more bosses here. This one's going to be a doozy. And then we got um, the Red Melania. So I, I think there's like 21 left total. We'll uh, hopefully breeze through some of these. This one, probably not. Theodorix is uh, going to take some quite amount of hits. Quite, quite, a, uh, quite a large amount of hits. Quite amount of hits. Yeah, this run's definitely going to be on the longer side of uh, the Elden Ring runs lately, but that's okay. I don't know really how either, because I don't feel like I played a lot worse. Oh. Uh-oh. Looks frosty? I know, right? You'd probably be dead, except for the, you know, this guy's here. It's breathing lava everywhere. Or spewing lava, I should say. Got it drooling it, I guess. Never really thought about it, but it, it kind of is just like saliva for him, I guess. Are you doing a third one? Yep, doing a third one. This might, this fight might go on for so long that we get lucky and we get a land octopus in here too. That'd be cool. Don't push me into lava. Dude, can't hit him. He's crawling. Killed something. Oh, played octopus battle. Here we go. I don't think this land octopus is living. Nope, he did. Here, th dude, what are you doing? Can you come over here? He's like, fine. I will. Can you stop? One thirteen. Yeah, I get the souls. That's bad. He's crawling. Have I had a bleed yet? I don't know that I have. I can't, like, keep up any significant amount of hits to get one. Once we get to phase two, I think it'll be easier. Okay, that was a fist point. This is not a great spot, though, for him to be standing. I would like him to move very much. Okay, this is good. He's going forward. Oh, nice.
I need another bleed, please. I, okay. That's helpful. It's not a bleed, but it could lead to one. Come on. Or not. One bleed needs to. Boom. Right there. Here's the cave. Okay, this fight actually might be kind of rough. Because I can't really stagger this guy. Misbegotten. I guess we'll see, though. And then the death rate bird, honestly, I'm less worried about because I like I already know how that fight's gonna go. It's pretty much the same as the mountaintops one, just a little worse. A little harder. But like I never staggered that guy anyway, so. Then Loretta and Melania. And then, like, the, half the fights that are remaining after Loretta and Melania, we've already done, so. I don't think there will be really anything that's too bad aside from Rikard. And really, that's just going to be long. And annoying. Because I'm going to miss, like, half my hits. Um, apparently you can't quick step off an edge. You kind of just hit a wall. I didn't know that. That's kind of weird. Because I don't think that was a full quick step length. It, it kind of just killed my momentum midair. It just fell straight down. I don't know. It was. I don't, it didn't really seem to be an issue there. But like, look how it kind of like. It doesn't take you as far forward as it should, or as you think it would. Strange. He doesn't have much help. I can't believe you can actually quick step both of those. Are they gonna bleed? There's the bleed. Just the Death Red Bird, and then the snowfield is done. Well, I guess Ordna, too, if you want to be nitpicky. Still got to do that, but the bosses, at least, will be done. And honestly, these are some of the hardest ones, so always feels good to get the snowfield done.
You know, I legitimately think that the Death Rate Bird is one of the hardest bosses. This this one specifically is one of the hardest bosses in this game. Because, like, a lot of people just don't know how to fight them. Mm, please don't hit me. Plus, you have this thing. Ah, oh, that's not good. Frickin' turret mausoleum. Uh-oh, that might be a bad, uh, bad timing. I can't tell, though. Like, they kind of go over your head or, like, out of your out of your field of view, and you can't really see where... Oh, stupid. Who put the trees there? like to file a complaint with Miyazaki himself. It has to be enough. Seriously? That has to be enough. Really? Okay, come on. Thank you. It's like 20. You, you, where are you gonna go, buddy? You can't come back up. Oops, that's the wrong thing. That's bad. I think I'm dead. I probably just should have stayed in place there because I think the fire spread out. But I kind of rolled onto it. I thought I understood the uh, big AoE. I guess I, I don't because that's twice now. I tried to stand in a place that I thought I'd be safe in and then I still got hit by it. So I don't know. I still, like, I don't know if it's random. I need to, like, see that attack way more. Because I can't tell if it's just RNG, like, the direction that the ghost flame spreads out in, or... Maybe I just forgot where to stand.
Well, that pretty much nuked my health. Do I pick up the things? That I'm probably not going to spend because I don't need to. I'm kind of expecting the AoE there, honestly. Okay, now he's gonna do it, though. No? Now he's gonna do it. Okay, maybe not. Now he's gonna do it. Now he's gonna do it. Now he's doing it. See, okay, so... I don't know, I think it's random every time. What are you doing? I don't think I've ever seen that attack. He just hovered in the air for like three seconds before actually attacking. Yeah, so what I used to do in that attack, or what I started doing, was, like, you stand kind of... at, like, a 90-degree angle, or, like, on his side. And then the AoE, like, I don't know, maybe I was just getting lucky and it wasn't hitting me, but... It hit me on the mountaintops one, and then it hit me on the first attempt on that one, so I don't know. Hey, T, what's going on? How you doing? Alright, oh, I gotta read this. Yep, can you examine the thing? Give me that torch. I don't really need this, but why not? It's kind of helpful. Last day of work done before a week off. Oh, nice. Going on vacation? You're just taking a week off? Okay. Why can you not go through here? You can get up through here, but you can't. Like, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. This part might actually be pretty miserable. Try to get through the uh, Albinorix here. Going on a trip? Oh, nice. Tried to uh, quick step and I uh, failed. A little late. And then I just couldn't move.
I guess the nice thing is nothing is going to hit harder than the Red End Melania. So we've done God's Can Do All already. And they'll probably be easier this time around. They had the final three fights. Gideon will be easier. Not that he was really hard before, but... Yeah, that was a bad idea. I should not have gone that way. Because now the Salvador is going to be firing at me up here. Trying to climb this. So I might need to go kill her. I am in trouble. Can you just fall off the ladder, please? It's probably better to just save and quit, honestly. I think it takes you out of the Amber Jail, but... Actually, I don't know where it puts you. I'm assuming you're not in the Amber Jail here, though. Yeah. Oh, it actually just puts you right in place. Okay, that's interesting. I thought maybe it would like take you back to the where you know the seal or whatever where you teleport in. Look at all that blood. It's my blood. From getting shot by like 20 arrows. Don't fall off. Terry is very dumb, I agree. It's pretty brutal. Really, honestly, it's just this tower that's bad. Like, the rest of them are fine. The rest of them you can kind of do without any trouble. I mean, yeah, there are two invisible assassins, but once you know where they are, it's not really that big of a deal. But this getting to this tower is just like the biggest pain because you have those two archers. I never bothered to learn the ordinance skip. I, I wouldn't do it even if I knew how to do it. There's a lot of like parkour you can do in this game, but that is very much like <laughs> An exploit. Considering you're like jumping off of uh, an invisible wall or whatever it is around an invisible wall. I don't have any problem like with people doing it. It's just I don't want to do it. It was the same thing with like the, the hailing tree elevator skip. I never did that. I think there is a new one, too, with the uh, parry strats. You have to repost an enemy, fall down the elevator, and then land on the switch.
No ant snipe, yeah. Luckily. So I always do the bubble tier, because if I get hit and I don't have it, I'm going to die. <laughs> Especially with no armor. Oh, man. It really bounces you, huh? I was on the other side. Well, I guess I moved to his left. A little bit. Miquela's Hailing Tree. I'm sure it's how a lot of people pronounced it. I don't remember how I pronounced it. But then I heard Gideon say it, and I was like, oh, okay. You know what it is for sure at that point. And you just hope no one else has to pronounce it, and then does it incorrectly. Can, can you heal, like, my... I swear to God, Ben. I match X or square like twice. No heal came out. Yet? I don't know that I have. Oh, there's one. Right, Loretta. The damage just barely taken up. <laughs> it's like two levels for one attack power. I mean, that's what I guess you get with uh, E scaling. Yeah, Faith, Faith, or what is it? Flame Art scaling is just so rough. See, Faith. Oh, then the spirit caller's cave. We gotta do the the noble and the apostle fight, but they can't bleed. Ugh. And then Borealis. And then Vike, who's gonna just one shot me when he staggers me. Fire giant should be fine though. Fire giant's probably the easiest fight out of all those for this build. Although the uh, ancient hero might not be too bad either. I think the ancient hero is like weak to fire, so it could be good. The other two I thought were like one of them is a weeping peninsula. That one doesn't really count because it's going to be easy no matter what. But the other one, um, 
in the Sainted Hero's Grave was not too bad. But we're a long ways away from that. This one's going to hurt. Yeah, quick step for this part, which is nice. Definitely gonna get rotted though. Not much you can avoid there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this talisman. I'm just gonna stick with damage. I'll save the ritual sword talisman, which will help somewhat. Or shield, I mean. Damage here. I don't know how good this is gonna be, though. I'll try it, though. Stamina could could be better. Your stamina regen, I should say. Trying to do uh, the old L2, but I hit L1 instead. I'm in such a I've just been quick stepping like this whole run that it's so hard for me to like roll normally. It's so weird. Like rolling feels weird now. It's gonna be really weird on the next run when I'm not quick stepping. That was unlucky. I just been super late on a lot of my rolls today. It's pretty poor Melania to start. Yeah, 
know. That was a, that was a bad idea. I think I should just stop quick stepping. At least for this fight. Oh, I forgot to change my physic too. Hang on. I want to go back to damage resist. Plus, I just wasted a heal, so. Should probably just get rid of this blue flask too, because I don't really need it. No, what am I doing? Like, it was good before, but I got a lot more mine now, so it's kind of unnecessary. Don't get hit. Simple. Ugh, I can't stagger her. It's frustrating. I gotta be smarter going for hits. Like, normally, yeah, with like any other weapon besides daggers and that, when she steps to her right like that, you can stagger her and she won't be able to do an attack, but you can't do it with daggers. God, I hate that. Burning through my healing. Comically long? It is a pretty long sword. To be fair, she's like twice the height I am. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like the fact that I can't stagger her is really just... I'm getting greedy going for hits that I can't actually punish her on. Like, I can't punish her there because she won't stagger. And then I'll get hit. Some quick. I'm going to be out of quick steps before I know it. Oops.
Is that a bleed? At the end? Kind of surprised she uh, went into phase two there. I can punish her with an R1 and then roll like super quickly. She controls all. Ro yeah, kind of, right? Oh, what the hell is that attack, Melania? Oh, I might be dead here. Are you ever going to follow that up or? Okay. Well. Damn it, man. Stop doing that attack. I don't know how I didn't get hit on that one. Okay. That probably should kill me. I might be dead here. I'm like stuck healing. Not liking my arms. Unless I get some bleeds or something. Dude, she keeps doing that attack and like... When she goes backwards, she like... A lot of times she'll just kind of swing over your head, but like because she's going... She's going backwards, she keeps hitting me every time. She did it like three times in that fight. But she, she almost... I don't know. Can't say she almost never does it, but like it's not... Something I'm used to, because I usually stagger her on that. No, she's she's naked. Like that attack. God, I hate that one too. In that case, I'll be in my bunk. Yeah, you just, there's a lot of normal punishes you just can't do with daggers because she doesn't stagger. Like, you can't punish her there. That was a bad idea. Oh, greedy. Also, like, the zero poise I have is not helping things. Yeah, she, she just hurts. It's not much you can do about that. Oh, she staggered. I guess the, the jump bell one is good for staggering. Good to know. I think because the... I didn't stagger there, but... 
I think it's because, like, when you do a normal L1, you do, like, a 1-2 combo. It's not super good for staggering. I'm guessing, anyway. I'm gonna start spamming jump attacks, I guess. Did she? She hasn't waterfell yet, right? Ah, oh, crap. Ooh. <laughs> that was lucky. Okay, I guess I'm, if I'm quick, maybe I can uh, punish that attack. I do an L1. Hyper armor kick. I just didn't roll. That was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking there. The quick stepping in the camera turn when she like comes down is just like so Disorienting. Rob. Just don't rob me. Because then it's pretty much going to be a reset. Of course! I tried to stay close to her in the hope she wouldn't do this. But she did it. Please stop. I didn't think she'd reach. Throwing this one away. I agree with that. Don't believe that should have hit me. Want a refund? Oh, God, dude, the range on this stupid katana.
Oh my god. Well, okay, well, I guess we have another two hours on this run, because I did not think this was going to take this long. I think one thing, too, like, you don't think about is the fire damage is not as good when you're in the water. So you kind of, like... It's not really... Dude, the katana length, man, always gets me. Like, I think I'm out of range, and then she just gets a hit in, and then fully heals. there I was stupid like I, I'm so used to just being able to not have to move there like yeah that was pretty bad kind of let her kill me there honestly I, I just want to start over that was just such a bad start man I don't know why I'm having so much trouble the fight I've done so many times I'd say like this and Radagon are probably like the two I practice the most. But I think the thing with Radagon is you fight him twice every I, that was stupid. I, I did L1 to I just need to like not hit L2 at all. Because I wouldn't say it's really helping. I keep getting that attack a lot. Which is probably like one of my least favorite ones. I'd rather have Waterfowl, honestly. And like these super quick startup slashes she does. That attack sucks, man. I can't stagger her, so... At least not easily. I think that's what it is. I think normally, like, there's attacks that I would be able to stagger her on with other weapons, and because I'm not getting them, then she just follows up with something really quick. I think that's what's happening a lot. Because when she staggers, you get like an extra half a second to kind of recover. Unless I do like a jump L1, she's not staggering. Ah, damn it. Greedy there.
too. nice with daggers you can get an extra hit in there but like when she goes up in the air after some of these attacks which you can't normally do because weapons just aren't fast enough most of the time it's like the one time daggers are useful i guess all right please don't do the uh that one. that's the one i didn't want her to do Dude, it's stupid quick attack. It just keeps getting me. It's killed me. Really? God, nothing is going right. That's like such an easy attack to just strafe. I can't believe that hit. Probably the, like the worst Melania I've had on any of these runs, honestly. I can't think of a worse one. Usually I get her in like two, three tries. At most. Like even the Celebrant Sickle was not nearly this bad. Stuck on her there. Somehow dodged most of it. That was a greedy extra hit. You chill out. Oh, she keeps doing that attack, man. Like, I hate that attack so much. It's, it's just got such a quick startup. Ah, just kill me. Oh, I really can't play this any worse than I'm playing it.
I just cannot be like so greedy. That's I think that's largely my problem. I'm just going through hits that like probably would work on like a non dagger build, but I don't know. It's gotta be smarter. I just play too aggressively a lot of the time for my own good. Please reach. Damn it. Like, I keep going for an extra R1 there. It's things like that, you know, that I normally get punished for. So, so stupid, man. I hate that attack, but that's my own fault. I went for an extra R1 again. It's a quick slash, quick double slash. Gotta bleed. Don't waterfowl here, thank you. Jace, okay, I just want to be away from the wall. Dude, ah, it's greed again. That's unlucky. I wanted to heal. Yeah, like, I don't... I'm so bad at, like, outspacing this stupid katana. Oh, my God. If I tried being less greedy, I was less greedy, I think, on this attempt. But that, that attack is so brutal, man. It's just so quick. It does, like, 90% of my health. I just, I hit L1 to try and roll. I, I don't even know why. I guess the, like, I wasn't even trying to hit L2. I was trying to roll, but I just somehow hit L1. Yeah, it's been millennia. It's, we've been here for like half an hour. I've just been like sucking it up. Something fierce. Like, I don't even, like, my brain is just not working. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know why I jumped there. I've remapped the controller in my head, but not in, in reality. Dude, I'm so tired of that attack.
kill me. It's it's probably like 50% of the things I'm getting hit by are that attack. A double slash. Over and over, man. The wall, man. She didn't go back that far because of the wall. So she hit me again. Yeah, I thought I could get a quick hit in there. Once there, luckily. Come on, how did that not reach? It would have staggered her if it did. Oh, that's bad. Ooh. She overshot me. What the? I didn't turn around. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? My controller's trying to kill me. Well, she has more health than she started the phase with, so that kind of sucks. Kind of interesting how that hits her when she's like in the air already. 
I'll take it though, don't get me wrong. I had a stored roll and it rolled me late and she caught me with the second one because of a stored roll. I can't win, man. I cannot win. There's always something. The, the problem is I die in like three hits because I have no armor. Yeah, that's how a lot of them have gone, right? And then... It, you just die so quickly, man. It's brutal. I've never had this much trouble with this boss. Like, that's what is like. I'm I'm so tilted because like it's usually like a handful of tries. But for some reason, Melania just will not die. I'm expecting Waterfell. Probably now, no? I, uh, yeah, no, I, she's probably gonna do it now. I do not wanna be near the wall when she does it. Hmm, or not. Keep spamming this. Inner Crayola marker. At this rate, I don't think we're getting to Dark Souls 2 today. We've been on this fight for so long. Uh, I don't think we're getting there. Considering Reichardt is yet to come. That could be a very long fight. Why can't all the fights be like this one? Of course I say that I'm probably gonna get like two shot. Should have baby dodged myself. Uh 
Uh, I'm expecting her. She should be flowering soon, right? No? Single waterfowl is all it takes. I'm usually pretty good about dodging it. That's not what's been getting me. It's like the quick double slashes she does. That's been like the problem, I'd say, on this run. Kind of surprised she did that. Okay, I think she's dead. Finally. Took way too long, dude. Should have been done like half an hour ago. The mark of a true lord. Don't applaud that. It's not worthy. It's over though. So, whatever. I'll take it. Uh, where are we going? Here. Don't applaud that. <laughs> it was garbage, man. I'm so I'm so disappointed in myself. That last kill was pretty good though. That's how I wish they all went. Ugh. I think a lot of times I just get really rusty on that fight because it's probably the most technical, I'd say, out of anything in this game. And I don't play... Like, I don't fight Melania a lot, right? I fight her once a run, and I maybe do, like, two or three Elden Ring runs a month. And that's probably generous, actually. Well, no, maybe not. I'd say two, two, two on average. We've done, like, tw this is the 25th run in, like, a year, so... <laughs> Probably fair. And I only do her once per run, too, so. 